and I knew what he was trying to do. Like everybody had their mind on, we got to get the next white rapper because of money, 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 money. If we get the white rapper, we get all this money from all the white people. And I felt like by doing that, you're going to take away from the black people. Because I felt like the one thing that hip hop did was got white people to buy into black culture. It's 2022, and Benzino is out here resuscitating his 2002 beef with Eminem. For those of you who don't know, media executive, producer, and reality star Raymond Benzino Scott's beef with Eminem can be traced all the way back to 02 when M released his fourth studio album, The Eminem Show. The album received a rating of four mics out of five in The Source magazine, but M thought it deserved five, so he started dissing The Source and its co-founder, Benzino. Apparently, M was convinced the reason Benzino didn't give him five stars was on account of his race. See, if M started dissing Benzino, Zeno dropped two diss tracks, and in one of them, he accused M of being a culture vulture and called him a 2003 Vanilla Ice. The first diss track, I Don't Wanna, didn't receive a lot of attention, however, the second one called Pull Your Skirt Up was what really ignited the beef. On Pull Your Skirt Up, Benzino suggests M would never be as popular as he is if he wasn't white, basically calls him out for being a phony. Five shades darker and you'd be cannabis. No one would care about your complicated rhyme style. What you know about pumping on the block till you freeze? What you know about cutting up rocks, ducking detectives? What you know about facing a grand jury indictment? As far as I'm concerned, you're just industry excitement. Benzino later told MTV that he said what he said because he had a problem with the machine and the double standard in hip hop. Certain media outlets take to Eminem and look at him as the savior in hip hop, and the number one in hip hop, and don't recognize the guys out there that created hip hop, Zeno said. Eminem is just the hood ornament on the machine. You think I could grab my crotch and put my ass in people's faces the way he does? No way. But as long as the color of his skin and his eyes fits what America wants, it's all right. On Pull Your Skirt Up, Benzino also claimed Eminem ran to his manager and asked him to handle the beef for him. But then M dropped not one or two, but four diss tracks directed at Benzino and denied he asked his team to squash the beef. However, Benzino then released another track called Die Another Day. And at the beginning, he included a recording of a phone call between himself and M's manager, Paul Rosenberg, proving that M was lying. It's also true that Benzino crossed the line when he mentioned Eminem's daughter, Haley. Not only did he mention her, he openly threatened her, telling her she would suffer the same fate as Jean Benet Ramsey, an American child beauty queen who was murdered at the age of six in her family's home. Tell Haley it ain't safe no more. Daddy better watch your back at the candy store. We fucked up, resort to plan B. F around, she ended up like Jean Benet Ramsey. However, Benzino later claimed he was just giving M a taste of his own medicine because M mentioned Benzino's son on tracks Nail in the Coffin and The Sauce. In another interview with MTV, TV, Benzino said he actually wasn't trying to beef with Eminem and was just standing up for the culture. I just call it a debate with my opinion on issues, Zeno said. Hip hop came from the streets. It's gone mainstream. It's corporate, but it's part of the culture. It breeds life into a lot of people. I just felt that on my first record where I went at Eminem. It wasn't so much about M, it was about the machine. The way media outlets are taking what Eminem is doing and using it as a double standard for what other artists are doing. Eminem gets to do songs that we would never get to do, Zeno added. Eminem gets to talk about the issues and his pain, killing his mother, beating his girls, drugs. We have to rock the party in order to get spins and burn on the radio. We have to entertain more than expose our trust issues. When black and Latino people try to give our pain on there, we couldn't get burned. The machine doesn't want our pain to be out there. However, 10 years later, Benzino would publicly apologize to him for mentioning Haley on Die Another Day. Talking to Global Grind TV in 2012, Benzino said, The Eminem thing just started to get ugly and ugly. And it was of course, I can take responsibility for some of the stuff that I said as far as directed towards his family and really you know, personal shots was out of order. Benzino also gave him his props and called him a major force in the hip hop world. Eminem was and still is a major influence. Hip hop has brought cultures together Asian, Latino, uh, uh, black, white, and you know, um, I should have been more responsible. If you, could, if you met him today and you could speak to him, what would you say? First, I want to apologize about, you know, the Haley reference. 
Between 2002 and 2004, Eminem and Benzino exchanged several more diss tracks, and at one point, the beef got intertwined with the whole 50 Cent Ja Rule situation. However, the tension eventually started to wind down, and M officially ended the beef with the release of Like Toy Soldiers in 2005. Like Toy Soldiers emphasizes the importance of friendship and collaboration between rappers, and M vows to set a better example for his crew. But see, Benzino just couldn't let it go. In 2018, he reignited the beef by calling M's album Revival trash and dissing M's fandom. Can somebody tell these weirdo M fans that in this culture of hip hop, they are the subculture, Zeno tweeted, meaning nobody gives a flying fuck about anything they have to say when it comes to him right now. The album is trash, so take the L and move on. And though M has been ignoring Ben Zeno for over a decade now, Zeno is still trying to keep the beef alive. In February 2021, he did an interview with Queens Flip and challenged Eminem and Royce to 5'9 for a boxing match. I would step in the ring on any of them. I'm in great shape and I would love to, Zeno said. I started training boxing. I would like to step in the ring with Royce or Eminem. He then said the real problem with Eminem is the way nobody ever challenges him about problematic lyrics. Even when Mike Tyson interviewed Eminem, Mike never brought it up. Nobody ever brings it up. Nobody brings up anything about him and what he did. And no matter what we do, a blogger or podcaster can't wait to bring our shit up. He's so protected. I've never seen nobody more protected, Zeno said. Zeno was here specifically talking about Eminem's track Foolish Pride, which was recorded in 1993 and leaked by Zeno's magazine, The Sword in 2003. On Foolish Pride, M raps, black girls only want your money because they're dumb chicks. Never date a black girl because blacks only want your money. Black girls and white girls just don't mix because black girls are dumb and white girls are good chicks. However, after the source leaked the track, M claimed Benzino had a vendetta against him and he said Foolish Pride was written when he was just an angry, insecure 15-year-old. The tape was something I made out of anger, stupidity, and frustration when I was a teenager, M said. I just broken up with my girlfriend, who was African American, and I reacted like the angry, stupid kid I was. I hope people will take it for the foolishness that it was, not for what somebody is trying to make it into today. But fast forward to 2022, and Benzino is still trying to keep this beef alive. It all started on Wednesday, February 23rd, when Money Man posted a tweet saying he never listened to Eminem. Benzino then replied, nobody in my hood did. And then a few days later, one Twitter user challenged Benzino to speak directly to Eminem. Say it to Eminem's face. I bet you won't. You're a poor excuse for a father and a human being, this person tweeted. Benzino quickly fired back, tagging M and writing, I'll say it to his face, but he's scared, coward, p like his fan base. Zeno shared a few more since deleted tweets, dragging M's fandom and even sharing his address, taunting him to come and see him. To all you p***y stands, we all know y'all are the most corniest, non-violent, coward fan base hip hop has ever seen. Zeno said. I have a restaurant in Atlanta, 5071, Peachtree Industrial Boulevard, Chambly, Georgia. Stop tweeting and pull up on me, you pussies. And in a follow-up tweet, he added, I've been left this shit alone since the coward ass Stan still want to talk shit and hide, then it's still fk Eminem. And if you got a problem with me, do something about it. Nothing you ever said has affected me in any way. I know how to fight and I got big sticks, so pull up. But CM's fans can't even take Zeno seriously anymore, especially since this man's 56 years old and this beef is 100% one-sided at this point. Here's just some of what fans are saying on Twitter. At this point, Benzino's beefing with himself. I'm sure M don't even know who he is. He's not even thinking about you, but clearly you still have an issue with him. You want to fight at your old retirement age? Why not go bar for bar? Oh wait, you can't, never mind. But see, there's also some people who are saying Benzino has a point about Eminem because Eminem does have a long history of writing problematic lyrics. Thanks to Benzino for exposing the Eminem racist tapes, one person tweeted. White people gloss it over like it never happen, but it actually looks worse for them and him as time goes on. His exit out of the culture was already set before his career even started. Motherfuckers really applauding Eminem for making a living off black culture and semi-hating us at the same damn time, another tweet read it. The only time people apologize for their racist actions is when they start losing money. Weak as f but how do y'all feel about this? Is Benzino just trying to stay relevant by rehashing this old beef, or is he speaking facts? Let us know in the comments below. And if you like this video, make sure you check out this next one.